Happy Friday and good afternoon. Today, this afternoon, I am going to recount five more of my ballot items, five things that I have voted for. And so something I should say uh, about these votes is I'm not voting against something. So when I say I vote for something, I have reasons for voting for the person or thing or stance that I vote for. So it's not saying the other one is wrong or I'm against the other one. I'm just saying this is what I vote for. My vote, my choice, my voice, just as your ballot and your votes are your vote, your choice, your voice. So I'm going to start today. I'm going to reference the Washington State voter pamphlet I mentioned in part three. So this is the fourth of eight video segments going over what I voted for in the general and special election 2020 in Washington State, King County specifically. And so I'm going to start at the state level today. Oh, I should also say that this, is, this isn't this is true for all of the people I or things I have ever voted for, but this year's a little different. And so the people I vote for I want you in my presidential cabinet if I am elected president. So I will be asking you to join my presidential cabinet. And you can say yes or you can say no, or you can say something else, <laughs> or you can say nothing. But I, I want you. And so I want you to be alive and healthy and willing to serve and ready to serve if you want to be a part of my presidential cabinet if I'm elected president of the United States of America. And so, there's something that I did this. It'll come back to me. Oh, at, and I'm voting for people that I want in my cabinet because whether they're in my cabinet or not, I want them to have the jobs that they want and to be doing well in life and that kind of thing. So this is not sabotage. This is me wanting to see these people getting the jobs that they want and serving in the roles that they want. So. All right, starting off, first ballot item for today is at the state level, governor, partisan office, vote for one. Jay Ensley, who prefers the Democratic Party, or Lauren Culp, who prefers the Republican Party. I voted for Lauren Culp, who prefers the Republican Party. I think I'm reading that off a little differently than I did last time. Okay, so this is Lauren Culp. First off, I went to a school, the University of California, Berkeley, and I experienced harassment and discrimination there and took a stand and left with no degree. And I really, and how I've chosen to deal with that moving forward is not submitting that education experience. And so I like that there's no information submitted here under education. It's a very, very bold stance to do that. Uh, and I find that inspiring. I also love that they have the city he was born in. So he was born in Everett, Washington. I was born in Seattle, Washington. And some people can get super sensitive about their birth location. If you're running for a government position, you should be okay. It's, kind of, it's a red flag and concerning if you're not comfortable saying where you were born. And so it's good that he is willing and being transparent about that information. And sometimes less is more. And he has great experience. I really love the experience he has and what is included in this statement. It's very short. And so we're going to read it. So Lauren Culp was born in Everett, Washington, and is a lifelong Washington resident, except during his service in the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division. He currently serves as the Chief of Police in Republic, Washington, and is a best-selling author. For over 20 years, he owned and operated a construction company in Olympia, Washington, before moving to Republic and joining the law enforcement community. He has been married to his high school sweetheart, Barb, for 43 years. They have two grown sons and seven grandchildren. His platform advocates a return to respecting citizen rights and accountability for state government. So, I voted for Lauren Culp for governor. On to the next ballot item and page. 
So the next ballot item is Lieutenant Governor, Partisan Office, Vote for One. So there's Denny Heck, who prefers the Democratic Party, and Marco Rias, who prefers the Democratic Party. I voted for Denny Heck. And I voted for Denny Heck because of his dedication to the transparency of government operations. So he is a co-founder and president of TVW, which is Washington's version of C-SPAN. How it's phrased in the information um, under his other professional experience. So this is Denny Heck. And then another thing that kind of caught my eye was his dedication to the environment and that he he even brings up the natural beauty of our state, Washington. Washington abounds in natural beauty and I'm so fortunate to love here and that we, we as a state have that commitment to nature. Uh, Washington fully supports nature and it's very evident here. Even if you just visit and are nature oriented. And so in that dedication to the environment and not losing sight of industry needs to be included in environmental conversations and decisions that are made in combating things like you could, eh, no, I'm not gonna use that term that much. So, and things like saving the environment and natural wildlife, yeah, I'll leave. natural wildlife habitat preservation. There we go, that's a long term, technical term. So I voted for Denny Heck for Lieutenant Governor. The Lieutenant Governor fills the governor's position if the governor is no longer there in that role. Okay, so up next we have the Secretary of State, which is a partisan office, vote for one. There is Kim Wyman, who prefers the Republican Party, and Gail Tarleton, who prefers the Democratic Party. So I voted for Kim Wyman, who prefers the Republican Party. Why? Because I've had good uh, experience in my interaction. So I had to call the Secretary of State Office Elections Division to register to vote, figure out what was going on after I got my enhanced driver's license. And I had only positive experiences and I got my ballot and I got it all turned in. So I had a good experience. I also like that, and this is just, I've done this, I've volunteered with the YMCA and it's a really good, it's a really good volunteer experience. You get, you get a very, very diverse population, or at least I did where I volunteered and I even worked at the YMCA and it, it's a really enriching experience and I'm happy to see that under her community service. So this is Kim Wyman who I voted for for Secretary of State. On to the next ballot item. A lot of page turning here. I'm just gonna get partly cut out. Ah. Okay, the next ballot item is State Treasurer, Partisan Office, Vote for One. There's Mike Pellicchiotti, who prefers the Democratic Party. I apologize for any mispronunciations of names that I make. And there's Dwayne A. Davidson, who prefers the Republican Party. I voted for Dwayne A. Davidson, who prefers the Republican Party. And this is Dwayne A. Davidson. And I voted for him because when I was in high school, one of my technical classes I took was an accounting class. And accounting is very difficult. And there's, it, it's not necessarily the math that's difficult. It's the categorization. It's the following of principles and laws and rules um, that have been generally established for the accounting profession as a whole. And he has a bachelor degree in accounting and when I was attending the University of Washington I had friends who were in the taking accounting classes in the business school and 
they were brutal. It's you forget one simple thing. And even in my experience, you forget one simple thing, principle or law or whatever. The class is for a reason. It's training. It's technical training to, so that you don't make those mistakes. And so having someone who has that experience is is really beneficial. He's a certified public accountant. It means that they've kind of ironed out those problems and they know what to look for and that kind of thing. So that's why I voted for Dwayne A. Davidson for state treasurer. Up next in our last ballot item for this session, part, segment, whatever you want to call it, is state auditor. And it is a partisan office vote for one. So there's Pat Patrice McCarthy, who prefers the Democratic Party, and Chris Leiba, Leiba who prefers the Republican Party. And so I, pre I voted for Chris Leiba, or Leiba, I, or something else. And I voted for him. I, I really love his community service. It's, I operate an animal rescue called Secondhand Hearts on our farm and also rescue horses from kill pens across Washington. So I love horses and that's, I mean, props to you, man. And, <laughs> and he has a very diverse background and including police officer and detective, a degree in molecular biology, a degree in finance that he's finishing. There's... Uh, in he, perf performance auditor and so there's a whole bunch of things and I've had supervisors get audited and I think h having someone who has a diverse work experience is very beneficial for an auditor role because you don't know what someone's going to try and tuck something away as something bad or yeah so I, I I value that diversity of experience. So that's that and the horses. I love horses. Uh, <laughs> is why I voted for Chris Leva for state auditor. So those are the five ballot item, items that I'm covering today. Have a lovely Friday. It's Friday. Just think. Next Friday will be a week closer to the election and less than a week away from the election. So that's kind of, we're almost there, yeah. So that's exciting. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday and or weekend, depending on where you are in the world and not depending where you are in the world, everybody. <laughs> have a great day and night.